Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Target 100 in Mathematics by Shivesh Kumar Singh and in this video we are going to talk about some questions for question number 12 for the term and examination revision for grade 9 advance. Let's start the lesson. See this question will be dealing with some concept of parallel line and transversal for that I made another video for that in detail. Okay, if you have missed that video then you can watch that. Now here we will uh, try to revise in short. Okay. Uh, see what they are asking here find the value of each figure like we have to find value of this angle we have to find value of this angle also okay so maybe maybe by mistake I have written here figure it should be variable or angle okay no no problem see these two lines are the parallel lines like if I take L and M these two lines are the parallel lines and this line N is the transversal line. Transversal line means the line which cuts the parallel lines is called transversal line. So what are the properties for the transversal line? It is some opposite angles are equal, corresponding, corresponding angles are equal, alternate interior angles are equal. Okay, we will see all these things in short. See, first of all, if we talk about these, this line, then you can see it is forming a straight line. It means this total angle should be 180 degree and this 180 degree is divided into two parts. One is 5x and another is 40. So what you will write here, first equation will be 5x plus 40 is equal to 180 degree. Why is it so? Because of the linear pair, okay? Because they are part of the linear pair, so their sum will be 180 degree. Now we will simplify this. I am sure it is very easy for you now. Minus 40 degree, minus 40 degree both the sides. So it will be 5x is equal to 100 minus 40 means 140 degree. And then divide by 5, divided by 5 here also. So x is equal to 140 divided by 5 means 5 twos are 10, 5 eights are 40. Okay, so value of x is 28 degree. So if they are asking only the value of x, then this will be answer. If they are asking for the angle, so 5x will be equal to 5 times 28 means it will be equal to same I guess 140. Yes. Okay. Now like this you can do the answer. What about this? After finding the value of 5x, what we can do? Do we have any relation with this 5x and this angle? What do you say? We have any relation? Yes. What is that relation? They are alternate exterior angle. See, try to understand with the word, okay? Exterior means outside, yes? So see, this angle is outside here and this also angle the outside. And alternate means different, different side. So 5x is in the right side of this line and this 3y minus 1 is on the left side of this line. So they are called alternate exterior angles and they will be always equal. So 3y minus 1 is equal to 5xy because they are alternate exterior angle. Alternate exterior angle okay now what was the value of 5x value of 5x was 140 so we will put this value here 3y minus 1 is equal to 140 it means 3y is equal to 141 so by dividing by 3 you will get 141 divided by 3 it means it will be 3 4s are 12 3 7s are 21 so value of y is 47 degree but if they are asking about value of 3y minus 1 so what you can write here 3 times uh, 47 minus 1 means 141 minus 1 is equal to 140 okay no need to calculate also because see I to find the value of y only I calculated this okay otherwise if they want you to find this angle so once you know that this angle is 140 degree so this will also be 140 degree yes because they are alternate exterior angle okay now next question can be find the value of each figure same type of question these two are the parallel lines L and M are parallel and N is a 
transversal. Now you see these two interior angles are given, these two on the same side, yes. So what is the name of such angle? They are called corresponding angles. We will see them later but first we are going to talk about 8x minus 1 and 7x. Why? Because they are on another side and they have the same variable. So we can find the value of x. So 8x minus 10 will be equal to 7x. Why? Because alternate interior angle. Yes, alternate interior angle. Now here it comes minus 7x, here it comes minus 7x. This will be plus 10, this side will be plus 10. So 8x minus 7x, x plus 10 minus 10 cancel, here 7x minus 7x cancel and we will get x is equal to 10. Now when x is equal to 10, so 8x minus 10 will be equal to 8 multiply 10 minus 10 means 80 minus 10 means it is equal to 70 degree. So value of this angle is 70 degree. Okay. So what we can do here? We can apply with the property with this y as a corresponding angle or linear in, in sorry not corresponding angle co-interior angles. Okay. I think by mistake I said before also that they are corresponding angles. This is co-interior angles or you can use this angle as a linear pair up to you and property will remain same because in both the cases we have to make it 180 degree. Okay. So what I am going to do here now I am going to apply co-interior angle property. So 6y plus 100 sorry not 120 20 plus 8x minus 10 is equal to 180 degree. Why they are so? Why they are equal to 180 degree? Because of co-interior angle. Okay. Now we don't know the value of y. I am just erasing it. Okay. This is 6y as it is. So 6y plus 20 plus 8x value of 8x minus 10 we got it before you see 70 so just you write 70 directly here is equal to 180 okay now please check the calculation okay 70 plus 20 90 so 90 is equal to 180 minus 90 both sides here also so 6y is equal to 90 so y is equal to 90 divided by 6 means it is equal to 15. So, what will be that angle? That angle will be 6y plus 20. See, only just to find the value of y I have done like this, okay. Otherwise, after finding that this angle is 70 degree, this angle is very easy to find, yes. Easily you can say this is 180 minus 70 means 110 degree, yes or no. But um, to find the value of y, we have to do like this, okay. Now let's talk about this question. They say find the value of each figure explaining your explain your reasoning. Okay. Now here again the same type of question. This is 3x plus 17 and this is 4y plus 3 and this is 5x minus 7. So first we are going to take the value of x because they are on in alternate side. Okay. So 5x minus 7 is equal to 3x plus 17. Why is it so? Because they are alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles. So it will be 5x minus 3x is equal to 17 plus 7. It, it is just a simple equation so I am doing it a little quickly okay, to save your time. 2x is equal to 17 plus 7 means 24. So x is equal to 24 divided by 2 means 12. So after finding the value of 12, what we are going to do? We are going to find the value of 5x minus 7 and it will be equal to 5x minus 7 means 5 multiply 12 minus 7. So uh, 5, twine, 5 times 12 means 60, 60 minus 7 means 53. Okay, so this is the value of this angle. So what will be this angle? Just subtract it. 4y plus 3 is equal to 180 minus 53. 
okay as a linear pace see i am doing by another method maybe you you know so many methods so in exam it will be better for you okay so 4y plus 3 is equal to 180 minus 53 will it be 127 just check the calculation please okay now minus 3 here minus 3 here so 4y is equal to 124 so y is equal to 31 and after finding the value of y it will be 4y plus 3 is equal to that will be 127 this was the answer here so i am writing it directly okay my dear students in exam you will take care of this thing that they are asking the value of y or they are asking the value of that angle so if they asking the angle then we got the answer here okay no need to find the value of y okay now another question can be in the figure measurement of angle 3 is 75 now such questions are really very confusing they will be very easy but you know so many angles then students sometimes they get confused so measurement of angle 3 this is 75 i'll suggest you to write in the figure so that you can remember it okay measurement of angle 10 is 105 no problem and we have to find the other angles now you see we have to find two measurement of angle 2 so this angle we have to find so what we will do you see 2 and 10 they are what they are corresponding angles so you will write here measurement of angle 2 is equal to measurement of angle 10 why because corresponding angles and corresponding angles are equal so it means measurement of angle 2 will also be 100 and 5 degree now what about measurement of angle 5 measurement of angle 5 is this one and this is vertical angle of 2 so it will be equal to measurement of angle 2 why because they are vertical angles they are vertical angles okay so it will also be equal to 105 and another two parts are we have to find measurement of angle 7 so where is 7 okay here is 7 so 3 was 75 and you see 3 and 7 they are forming linear pair or you can say 2 and 7 are alternate angles so i think we got the value of 2 also yes so okay let's do it by any method okay see so measurement of angle 7 is equal to measurement of angle 2 why because alternate interior angles okay alternate interior angles i am not using this i am using this okay so this is also equal to 105 degree and last measurement of angle 15 so where is 15 okay this angle now you see 15 and 7 both are corresponding angle 15 and 7 both are corresponding angles okay so if corresponding angles then they will be equal so what was angle 7 angle 7 was 105 degree so it will also be 105 degree so what was the important thing here important thing was alternate interior angle co interior angle corresponding angle vertical angles okay i am sure you remember all these properties if not then please see my video i have made another detailed video for all these things parallel line and transversal and i am sure this question will be very very easy for you okay and if you think that such videos will help you to increase your knowledge please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends also thank you